What's up Rebels, my name is Matt, I'm a reshape, ride and reform instructor here at One Rebel and I'm going to be taking you through a cool down that you can do if you're just going to work out at home, maybe you've gone for a run, maybe you've come and done a class where you have to shoot off to catch that last train. We still want you to have that lovely cool down experience in the comfort of your own home. So the first part of your cool down I'd always recommend doing is just giving yourself a chance to settle. That heart rate's high, your body's warm, you're a lot more prone to injuring yourself if you start stretching straight away. So take a few deep breaths, give your chance to settle, take a moment to appreciate your mind and body allowing you to do what you've done, and then you can start stretching. A great one, either laying down on your back on the floor or seated on a chair, bring one foot on top of your other leg for your figure four stretch. You should feel a nice stretch with the outside of your glutes and your hips. Otherwise, you want to increase that stretch. You can start to lean yourself forward, maybe even bringing the hands down to the floor. And if it feels good, you can just let that head hang heavy and really feel that stretch to the outside of that hip and that glute. Obviously repeating on both sides, just so you're nice and even. So a great one for getting into your quads and your hips is a nice low lunge. So one foot forwards, knee down on the floor. Gently tuck that tailbone under. That should be already enough to feel that stretch. But if you want to increase, you can start to push those hips forwards. If you want to increase even more, maybe find something to hold on to. You can reach behind, grab hold of the foot and gently pull it towards your glutes. Now, whenever you're stretching, I always recommend listening to your breath. If you start to struggle with that breathing, it gets a little bit tight. Maybe you're a little bit too deep. Just release it back, find that deep breath. And on the exhale, you can pull that foot back in. So we've done our lower body, we also want to get into our upper body as well. So easing off the back and the shoulders, you've got a nice shoulder stretch. If you want to increase this, you can always take the opposite ear down towards the shoulder. Repeating on both sides, make sure we're nice and even. So also get into the back of the arms. You can take one hand to the small of your shoulders, opposite hand is a bit of help and support, and then lean away from that stretch. Getting into those obliques, opening up that side body. Repeating on both sides, then also to hit the chest, interlacing those hands behind the back, lifting up, trying to get those knuckles as far away from the shoulders as we can, and release it down. And to bring yourself back up, a nice finisher for me is always hitting that downward dog. Ease off the back of the body, hands to the floor, lift your hips up, and gently press your head and your chest through those arms. Maybe pedal through the heels nice and slowly, just easing off those calves, those hamstrings, open up the lower back. And then with a soft bend in your knees, you can walk your hands back to your feet, let that head hang nice and heavy. Maybe shake the head no, not the head yes. And as slow as you can, weight in the heels, just roll up through that spine, stacking each joint, roll those shoulders back, lift up that chest, take a nice big deep breath in. We want to hold each of these stretches for about 10 to 15 seconds or whatever feels good for you. It should never feel painful, it should never hurt. And again, always use your breath as your guide. If it's tight, you're a bit too deep. If it's nice and relaxed, you're in the right spot. 